Hi everybody! Welcome to my channel. My name's Gabby. This video is going to be about a few things that we did over the weekend. We did a lot, but I couldn't get it all on camera, so here's just the few highlights. Okay, with the weather warming up, we've got a lot to do. But one of the major things that we have to get done while it's spring is, of course, getting the garden ready and planted. This garden right here is actually just the onion garden. I mean, we plant a lot of onions. So to start, we got to rototill it. Now, the soil is kind of moist and wet, so after we rototill it, we gotta let it dry in the sun for a little bit, but we got a lot of other things to do while that's going on. Okay, bear with me in this video because I am learning how to drive our little John Deere tractor. I drove it a couple times last year, but I only did a few rows and so I'm still learning exactly how everything operates. So excuse my non-straight rows. Ooh, and how do you like the front of our tractor? Isn't it so pretty? No, we didn't buy it like this. Um, actually, my little brother loves, I guess it's called uh, Baby Shark, and my dad's like, okay, we'll put teeth on the tractor. So it's not a deer tractor, it's a shark tractor now. Okay, the last video I made was about putting up fences in the woods. Now, while making the video, my camera stand fell over by the wind and broke. So, most of the footage that you see in this video was actually filmed by my dad. So, thank you very much, dad. You are an awesome cameraman, apparently. Now, you know it's springtime when you start seeing dandelions and then little honeybees. You know, surprisingly, I haven't seen that many honeybees lately. I mean, normally you see them all over the place. I mean, our yard is full of dandelions. And I've only seen a handful. So, where are your buddies, little honeybee? Okay, this garden we actually rototilled earlier a few days ago, and now we are laying down plastic. Okay, in this garden we will have a few tomato plants, a few pepper plants, a couple cucumbers, but the main purpose of this garden is beans and celery grow beautifully in this location. I have no idea why, but this is where we got to plant them. I guess honeybees aren't the only ones who like dandelions. Okay, this is the first year we're using this kind of plastic. This plastic is actually kind of like woven. It's not just one sheet of plastic. So at the ends, you got to fold them over and staple it down so it's like a folded crease like you would in sewing, like a hem or something, just so it doesn't fray and like break apart. Okay, shortly after we finish this garden, we have to go take the cows from the lower pasture and send them up to the new pasture where we fixed the fencing. Now, I didn't get a video of this because we were all kind of like running around making sure all the cows 
crossed over. So you're going to kind of miss that part. I will, however, tell you that in this process, we got the quad stuck and that was an adventure. Okay, it was really hot on Saturday, so we decided to start cleaning out the pool before we normally do. Okay, this is the hoopy house that we use to plant the beans in. They will climb up the sides and actually kind of like grow along it. And then we can plant the celery in the middle. And the celery seems to like shade. At least my celery has always grown better underneath the beans. And while we have time, we're going to start cutting up some logs. And yes, we are spraying off the logs. Now, a couple of you have mentioned that why don't you just put the logs on something instead of in the mud? Okay, let me tell you, our property is all mud. It is all mud. And we just don't have the excess wood to be stacking our logs on. I mean, every time we cut a log, we use the wood immediately, so not much excess to stack it on. And thanks to the person who suggested hosing off the logs, because it has saved numerous blades. After we started hosing them off, we actually started to see little pebbles in the dirt. So thank you very much for the advice. One day I would like to have extra wood lying around that I can stack our logs on, but until then, hosing it off has been working. Okay, we have been cutting a lot of poplar lately. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still think it's beautiful, but I kind of like cutting different species like the maples and the cherries, like it's starting to become as common as pine around here. <laughs> well, anyways, thanks for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. God bless and bye.